You mentioned Dick's Hotel in Balmain yes, a I minute did. ago, yeah. right? Mm. Now, can we just go back? At the beginning of the program, you wanted to try and chip Kenty about this new segment on NRL 360 <laughs> Good called Good Look Times. Look you are. Right? <laughs> now, <laughs> why are you getting so much delight <laughs> well, um, out of this segment? I love the, the opener to Good Times on NRL 360, but when... But at the end of the opener, well, Kenny so walk people through. Well, it. Kenny walks into Dick's Hotel in Balmain, and he buys a beautiful, big, frothy, cold schooner. That has a big, um, a big skull out of it, a big, big, big gulp out of it. Puts a bet on, and then he's addressing these youngsters who all have their back to the camera, and Kenny's telling them a yarn. And he's, I've never seen Kenny so animated. And he's got his arms out. I'm wondering what the yarn was. <laughs> he should never have asked. Why? I'll tell you what the yeah. I'll tell mm. you what happened. So they said to me, "Look, we want a shoot a shot of you sort of saying something funny." So just tell them a joke. And I didn't have a joke right. to tell them. You know, when people say, "Yeah, be funny, tell a joke," it's very hard to think of one on the spot. So I thought, okay. So I told him a story, Anthony. Uh, and if you actually get, if you ever get anyone in the lip read what I said, they'll they'll be able to verify. I actually, tell them a story about you. Oh, really? <laughs> Is that? Oh, hang on, I've been set up here. I've been set up here. That's no, why you, he keeps you, asking me to ask you. Oh, so you, oh, so you, have, you have been agitating to have a go at me for, for some time now, and you've been all day <laughs> look at you. Yeah, all look at you now. Yeah, so I'll tell you what I got. Right. Oh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what I told them. I, I told them about a former Illawarra Steeler, great who used to work with you at I-98. Yes, that's right. Brett Rodwell. Well, no, I'm not saying who oh, it is. Right. But anyway, he told me how uh, <laughs> he walked. He used to walk into the kitchen and find <laughs> you in there filling up your coffee and sugar tins from home. <laughs> yes. Because co- yes. you're such a tight ass. <laughs> oh, mate, I was on about $310 a week. <laughs> And it was the big, big fin and Nescafe. No matter what you're on, it's called cool. <laughs> <laughs> You are. You are disgraceful, you are. Oh, so that's, that's what I was telling them. So for you to uh, want to know what I was actually talking about, the made them laugh. Was, and you've been yeah. trying to get me to uh, have a go at me about that segment for, uh, <laughs> since we come back on air. Mm. Uh, look at you. Yes, because he hoop strings me every Make sure you ask him. Make sure you ask him. Uh, Mate, uh, you... <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about the uh, Dogs-Panthers game as Triple M rocks the footy.